The front part of my mobile home stays cold, while the back part gets too hot to sit in. Why is this happening? So with uh, mobile homes, uh, we do a lot of mobile homes, mostly double watts. Um, do a few single watts, but mostly double watts. Uh, with the mobile home, you have basically, if you can visualize the top of your mobile home looking down from Google Space, uh, you have two tracks of duct work in that mobile home. You have the front track, you have the back track. Now connecting those two tracks is what we call crossover duct. So when we go in to replace a system, oftentimes the crossover needs to be replaced because something has happened to it. So that kind of sounds like what's happened here. You're getting the air on the front, but the crossover duct to go to the second track is not connected or has a hole in it, not getting the air where it needs to go. So that's why you're hotter in that side of the house versus the other side. Um, also what we do with a lot of mobile homes is, and I talked to a contractor last week about this because he was not aware you could do it, is we do what we call a four point tie-in. So we replace, we leave the tracks in the duct because obviously you can't you know, mess that up. Uh, but we put in two boxes on each track so you have four points and then we tie it in so you have better airflow. Um, but to answer that question, uh, it's probably a crossover duct problem which we can handle and look at. Um, and typically when we replace a system, the crossover needs to be replaced. That's why you ladies see that in the notes quite a few times. So when we do a double wide is because over time it deteriorates, get damaged. Oh.